I'm going to tell you 12 reasons why I'd move to Mexico right now, and then after that, I'm going to give you a few reasons why I might not. The first reason is the perfect year-round climate in most of the country. For example, I'm living here in Querétaro right now. I've actually been living in Mexico for about five years, but Querétaro is this beautiful colonial city right smack dab in the middle of the country. And actually, the vast majority of the country, basically any inland city, is going to have a great climate year-round. But if beaches are more of your thing, well, Mexico has some of the best beach destinations in the entire world. Number two is the food. Oh my gosh, the food here is so amazing. Before coming to Mexico, I thought I loved Mexican food, but what I knew of Mexican food was like enchiladas, burritos, tacos. But in reality, the food scene here is so much more diverse than that. And it gets way more amazing than the best tacos I've ever had in the US. Seriously, no matter what part of the country you're in, you're going to have a different type of cuisine and Mexicans know how to cook. The next reason is if you're from a developed country, your currency is going to go a lot further here than it does there. For example, if I want to see a cardiologist here or some other kind of specialist doctor, a psychiatrist, something like that, well then that's probably going to run me about 40 US dollars. If I want to go out for a super nice dinner here, it's probably going to be about 40 or 50 dollars versus like 100 to 150 that it might be in the US. My cell phone bill is going to be about 10 dollars here versus maybe it's 50 dollars in the United States. But overall, overall cost of living, factoring everything in, it's probably about one third of the cost here than it is in Phoenix, Arizona, where I was living before. The next reason is if I wanted to raise kids, I'd much rather do it here in Mexico than in the United States for a number of reasons. Number one, they're going to grow up bilingual, knowing both Spanish and English, and I think that's really important for my kids' future. Another reason is that I can send my kids to a very, very good private school here for far, far less than something similar would cost in the United States. And on the kids topic, you can make raising kids a whole lot easier for you here in Mexico, because if you have the money for it, you can hire a full-time cook, housekeeper, nanny, who lives in your house and helps you raising your kids and keeping your house tidy and all of that. At the high end of the pay scale right now, that's about 550 US dollars a month, and that is paying them very well. So for $550, you allow someone else to get what they consider a very good job, and then you make your life way, way easier. Compare this to my sister. My sister lives in the Midwest. She has two kids, and she pays over $1,000 a month just for daycare. That's not a live-in nanny. That doesn't clean your house, keep your, cook your food or anything like that. That's literally just keeping your kids for about seven hours a day and that's it. Thousand dollars a month versus 550 for a full-time live-in nanny here. Next is Mexico's close proximity to the United States. So if you have friends or family back in the US or let's say you're covered with some healthcare expenses, maybe you're a veteran or something, well then it's reasonably quick and easy to get back there for those various reasons. I'm going to get crap for this one. But if I were a single guy, I'd come to Mexico for the women. Like, I think Mexican women are great, but even other expats, like if I wanted a great dating scene, this is one reason to come here. And I've been asked like, hey, what's the, what's the best place to be to meet women? Well, I think that answer depends on whether you're looking for Mexican women or whether you're looking for other expats. Well, if you're looking for Mexican women, I think any major Mexican city like Guadalajara, Mexico City, here in Querétaro, Puebla, Morelia, like literally any one of these large cities in the inland of Mexico, in the highlands, is going to be a great option for you. And if you're looking to date other expats, well then, I think the single best place for you is Puerto Vallarta. And this is a little counterintuitive because Puerto Vallarta is known for it being a huge gay male destination. But that's, that's the trick here because there are about 10 single straight women for every one single straight guy in Puerto Vallarta because almost all of the guys are gay. So <laughs> like if you want the best ratio of straight women to straight guys, well then Puerto Vallarta is the choice for you. Variety. That's a reason I'd move to Mexico because there is something 
for everybody. There's small quaint mountain towns with beautiful nature. There's old colonial cities like the beautiful Queretro. There's brand new modern cities with all the greatest conveniences that could, you could want. There's every climate you could possibly want from snow to desert to beaches to hot springs on the side of cliffs, literally everything in terms of climate. So there's something for everybody here in Mexico. If you're looking to move abroad, there are a lot of countries around the world that make it very difficult to move there. With Mexico, though, it's a reasonably straightforward, easy, and not too expensive of a process. Of course, there is still some government bureaucracy like you have in every country. However, compared to the other options out there, Mexico isn't too bad, and that's a win. I love to travel, but I hate crossing international borders because you never know what's going to happen. You have to worry about, oh, do I need a visa to come here? Do I need a negative COVID test? Do I have to show proof of vaccine? Is some border agent going to try to shake me down because I have one too many phones and they're going to issue a major fine or put me in jail for carrying an apple into the country or something stupid like that? But something I love about Mexico is you could literally travel for an entire lifetime to all of the different destinations in Mexico and always be seeing and experiencing something new because there are so many amazing destinations here from all the beaches to the amazing colonial towns to all the small pueblos magicos, the magic towns around the country. There is an almost endless number of things to see without crossing one single international border. Another reason I'd move to Mexico is if I were a huge history buff or love visiting archaeological sites because Mexico has so much history and countless archaeological sites. In fact, there are so many ancient ruins and pyramids and stuff in Mexico that they've given up and have stopped digging them up. Another reason I'd move to Mexico is if I could figure out a way to earn money working for a foreign company or earn money as a freelancer or earn money from starting my own business. Because if you can make a stronger currency working remotely and then spend that currency here, well then that allows you to live a much higher quality of life. And this doesn't just apply to uh, US dollars in Mexico, but this applies to any stronger currency in the world versus any weaker currency in the world. If you would like to start a business coming to Mexico, let me know in the comments because I have an almost endless number of ideas of businesses that I would love people to start or I think that would be in really high demand. So um, I could do a video on that if you wanted me to. And right after I tell you the 12th reason why I would move to Mexico today, I'm going to tell you the reasons why I think moving to Mexico would be a bad idea. The 12th reason I'd move to Mexico today is if I needed a pharmaceutical drug that was really expensive in the country where I was living because a lot of these pharmaceuticals are a lot cheaper here and with those really expensive drugs that could literally mean the difference between scraping by or living a good life. Maybe in some cases it could even mean the difference of life and death. Why might moving to Mexico be a bad idea? Well, number one, when I first came to Mexico about five years ago, I considered Mexicans to be very welcoming and they loved having foreigners here. But over about the past 18 months or so, I've noticed this trending in the wrong direction and a higher and higher percentage of the population do not want foreigners here at all. They would rather all foreigners move out of the country not have any foreign investment or anything like that. And if things continue heading in this direction, it might not be a good place for foreigners to live. Another reason I wouldn't recommend moving to Mexico is if you want it to be exactly like where you're from, but cheaper, because that's just not going to be the case and you're going to have to adapt to a lot of cultural differences. Another reason I wouldn't move to Mexico is if you're looking to get a job here because the truth is the jobs just don't pay that well. So I recommend starting a business or figuring out a way to work remotely or work as a freelancer or something like that. Another reason why you might not want to move to Mexico are the dangers here. Granted, I do think the dangers are way overblown by the US media, but they certainly exist and I can't just gloss over them. For example, I was driving with Mai just the other day and we drove past this house that had a security guards outside. And I was like, was that, was that security standing outside that house? And she's like, yeah, that house is where the owners of this business in uh, Queretro live. And 
Uh, one time they had a kidnapping in their family, and ever since then, they've paid for guards to stand watch 24-7. Another example is I met a Mexican who comes from a wealthy Mexican family and uh, many years ago her father was kidnapped for ransom. They paid the ransom and then they killed him anyway. So I mean I can't just gloss over the subject of dangers uh, because this stuff is real. It does happen here. A lot of women go missing here. So be especially careful if you're a young single woman in this country and it's something I would seriously consider as a reason to not move here. There are certainly ways you can live here safely. For example, living in a safer city like the one I live in, uh, Queretaro. Uh, <laughs> honestly, living in a nicer neighborhood will reduce your risk of bad things happening. <laughs> so there are a lot of ways you can take precautions to live a safer life here. Also, a lot of bad things can happen when you're driving. Uh, for example, there's a lot of carjackings and things like that. So. Uh, there are precautions you can take, for example, you, you drive during the day, you drive on toll roads, and there are precautions you can take to stay safe and live here safely, but the dangers is a real reason why you might not want to live in Mexico. Another reason why I wouldn't live in Mexico is if I had health insurance in my home country and I had a pre-existing condition that would be expensive to take care of or manage in Mexico because if you come to Mexico and you have a pre-existing condition, you ain't getting insurance that covers that condition. You could get insurance that covers everything else, but not that. Another reason why I wouldn't recommend living in Mexico is if you don't like noise. As I've been recording this video, there's been church bells going off almost constantly, people playing loud music, people driving loud trucks, loud motorcycles up and down the streets. There is a lot of noise in Mexico and it might be a reason that you might not like living here. Granted, I can say that living in a more expensive neighborhood here will reduce the noise around you dramatically and a lot of times down to almost nothing. But that comes at a price. Another reason why you might not want to live in Mexico is if you cannot meet the financial requirements to get temporary residency or permanent residency. But if you can't meet those financial requirements, that's not the end of the story. There are other ways to get legal residency here. A couple examples, uh, you could marry a Mexican and get residency. You could have a child in Mexico. It doesn't even have to be with a Mexican. As long as the child is born in Mexico, you automatically qualify for permanent residency. You might be able to snag a humanitarian visa. There are actually quite a few other ways to get residency that don't involve financial requirements but you may or may not be able to qualify one of these other ways. Another reason I would seriously consider not living in Mexico is if I were a dark-skinned Mexican or a dark-skinned individual coming from another Latin American country. I hate that this is the case here, but there is like a lot of prejudice or whatever it is against uh, darker-skinned individuals here, and there's especially a lot of classism, and if you have European ancestry, well then you're expected to be higher class and people usually are and the people who are lower class are treated much worse. So if you go into a restaurant and you have dark skin, you're probably going to get a lot worse service than if you have lighter colored skin. Because the truth is, here people with darker skin aren't treated nearly as well. Now I've seen some vlogs from African Americans who have come here and have vlogged about living in Mexico and it seems that this doesn't apply to them. So I think this only applies to Mexican heritage or other Latin American heritage, but it's definitely, definitely something to seriously consider if that applies to you. Thanks for watching. Watch this video next if you would like to learn more about living in Mexico.